Yeah, lifestyle changes, you know, we, no one likes lifestyle changes. There's so many different aspects to doing it, it seems overwhelming. So th what we've been doing in our wellness program is picking one at a time. And this month has been laundry and dishes. So let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Peter Minky. This is Minky Wellness. And, you know, like I said, there's so many aspects to our lifestyle that we have to watch out for and, and try to make changes and try to make things more natural. So we're trying to, in this wellness program, we're trying to, you know, kind of highlight it one at a time. Now, of course, if you're having problems, if your system's overloaded, if your wellness is, is I mean, really being, you know, symptomatically challenged, and then you might need to clean things up faster. You might need to go to our list here. Um, it, you know, we have it in this in this graphical postcard kind of context, but you might go through the list and look at these lifestyle changes. Uh, oh, those are the diet, diet elimination, the, the environmental lifestyle changes category. And you might go through and say, oh, okay, I'm gonna have to really be more, you know, big, step it up here and, and do it a little faster. Okay, but if, if you're going with us and kind of just on these gradual changes, uh, then this you know, today or this month we've been doing laundry and dishes. So now what's the, what's the big deal? Is it that important? You know, who cares if I use the standard dish soap or the standard laundry soap? Okay, this makes a big difference, and let me explain a little bit more about why, especially in the 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 laundry category. Okay, so now our skin is our largest organ, and we absorb things through the skin. And most of us are wearing clothes that are up against our skin, the most of our skin, in other words, 90% of our skin is covered, uh, you know, or somewhere around there, and, and, and all 24 seven, you know, all the time. So anything on the clothes itself, any kind of chemical, uh, especially if it's fat soluble, okay, because we have this layer of fat, oil, that covers our skin and the hairs, uh, and all of it I have a, have a layer of oil. So if there's a fat soluble toxin, it just wicks right into the system and goes into the lymphatic system. And that is a slow but daily dose interacting and, and, and coming into the system. And so if those are chemicals that are, you know, you know maybe, see here's the problem with, with some things like these laundry chemicals. First of all, let me explain that, that the, the FDA approved a, a bunch of chemicals for cosmetic use before that we, before science showed that many of these things are absorbed through the skin so you can understand that if some if a company is making a lot of money on a product they've spent all that money formulating it, it, it it's familiar to everyone everyone knows this product it's going to be really, really hard for the FDA to come out and say, now, wait a minute, that's all, we're going to ban all the, these topical chemicals because we didn't know at the time that they, well, that's extremely expensive. And in the United States, we have an extremely uh, unfortunate, extremely powerful connection or influence between lobbies and what happens at the government level, okay? So lobbies get in there, and if you've got a lot of money and a, you've got a lot of influence, and so the, the, the influence that comes in from lobbies will, will hit the FDA and say, you know what, let's not, let's not talk much about that. And to prove my point on this, I mean, I don't have any specific links, but you can go and look this up, that, that the European Union asked our FDA and EPA scientists to come and present their research in Geneva. And based on their research, they banned over 200 chemicals that are still commonly used today in our uh, personal care products and our cleaning solutions and our pesticides and all that kind of stuff. So these are things, you know, phthalates, for example, that got banned in Europe based on the research that you and I paid for, for our tax dollars, because it was all done through EPA uh, type of, of research. So this is the kind of thing that is very frustrating, but nonetheless real. And so this is why we need, you cannot rely on on just having a product on the shelf because it's there and because it has a label on it, because it's being marketed and sold on the shelf, you cannot rely on that being safe. You cannot. So you have to do your own homework and say, okay, I'm going to only use things that are fragrance-free, perfume and dye-free, 
Um, you, you know, hypoallergenic doesn't necessarily mean anything. I mean, it typically leans in the right direction, but I go for a laundry detergent that is basically free and clear or, or you know, some version of that that says no fragrances, okay? Because fra synthetic, fra okay, believe me, unless you're talking about a Young Living product, your fragrance in a laundry product is definitely synthetic. There's no chance that that is a real fragrance, okay? That is a synthetic fragrance, and you know how I've already talked about synthetic fragrances. I'm really, really down on those. They are fat, small, fat-soluble toxins that go right into the system. And these dyes and fabric softeners and things like that, I think are really, really bad. Um, and I think we're gonna find uh, you know, more and more as, re as, as research is either done or revealed, I think a lot of this stuff is, is done but hidden uh, or, or just kind of like shoved aside. Uh, but I think they're going to show that these fabric softeners and perfumes and dyes are actually extremely bad for the system. The endocrine disruptors, hormone disruptors, uh, lymphatic you know, blockers, all kinds of problems in the system. And so get rid of your fabric softeners, get rid of your laundry detergents that are nasty um, and, and uh, you know, it, and you won't, if you're currently using those, you don't know. You don't know because your system is used to this. Um, but w once you quit it and you, you quit it for a few, three months, and then if you go back, like you go to your, your friends or your sisters or your mothers or whatever, and you use their towels that have that old, I mean, that have that same detergent that you used to use, you'll be like, ooh, what is this? It stinks. Uh, the smell is not a pleasant smell. It's not one of those, oh, fresh smells. And then the the coating, the feel of it against your skin, it's like there's a weird greasy coating that comes with this, with this fabric softener. So mm, you don't want it. Okay, so let's switch gears to dishes. Obviously, you know, in the case of dishes, you're, you're, you're actually ingesting, uh, the, the, you know, all the, your food is touching the dishes. And so you think that just because it looks clearer, that uh, it must be clean. Uh, no, they, they have an additive in most dish, uh, in dishwasher detergent, dishwasher uh, soaps, and then, and then even there's additives that make it, you know, to keep it go, wick off and, and that kind of thing. There are chemicals in there. And so you don't, you don't want any of that stuff. You don't want to ingest any of that, those chemicals. And yet they're, they're stay on the, on the plates, on the dishes that you're using every single day. And then, of course, we've got hand wash soap, uh, you know, dish soap that you're using to hand wash, which is almost always has lemon fresh scent. And again, I guarantee that that is synthetic fragrance. It is not real fragrance unless you're using a Young Living product. And then you can look at the price of the Young Living detergents and the Young Living laundry and you'd say, oh, wow, that's a much higher price. Why? Because there are real essential oils in there and those cost a lot more to produce, okay? So that's my spiel about this lifestyle change for laundry and dishes. It's not trivial because these are things that are that we're touching our bodies and they're contacting us every single day. And it's one of those things in our wellness that we've stopped the poison. Stop poisoning ourselves is, is the first part of our wellness strategy. So very important to stop poisoning ourselves. And in the laundry dish category, it's a very easy change. Young Living has already made it easy. Make that switch. Try the Young Living detergent. Use the Young Living soap um, and uh, the, the dish soap uh, and, 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 and just see. Okay, do that for a few months. And, and then, like I said, if you go back to one of those, uh, you know, uh, laundry, uh, dish soaps that, that, or even laundry soap, I mean, I hope you don't go back, but if you did, you'll experience the difference once you've made the change, okay? So um, anyway, so there's our, our lifestyle change. I encourage you to make this change. Very, very significant, subtle. It might not be immediate, but it's, it's definitely significant. So please do, uh, uh, take that seriously and make that step for your wellness. Okay. Happy wellness. We'll see you tomorrow.